Brexit debates were not helped by Project Fear, ITV journalist Robert Peston claimed, despite being on the receiving end of a complaint launched by the Vote Leave campaign. Mr. Peston stated numerous times during ITV's coverage of the 2016 EU referendum that the UK would be worse off post-Brexit. During the Cheltenham Literature Festival in 2018, Mr. Peston reflected on the moment when the Vote Leave campaign sent a complaint to Ofcom accusing ITV of pro-Remain bias. The complaint was dismissed after the group instructed its lawyers to get him off air, The Guardian reported. Mr. Peston said impartial journalism was about weighing the evidence and saying, on the balance of probabilities, this is the truth, he continued, it is the role of a journalist to say, we've got these two contradictory arguments, I'm now going to advise all of you which, he also addressed the comments he had made on air, claiming that while he felt the UK would be poorer, the Remain side had overdone its negative predictions. He said on air that the UK would be not massively poorer. I thought the Project Fear bit of the government's campaign was overdone. But poorer. A month after the interview, the government released a report claiming that the UK would be poorer economically under any form of Brexit, compared with staying in the EU. Official figures said the UK economy could be up to 3.9% smaller after 15 years under then Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit plan. But a no-deal Brexit could deliver a 9.3% hit, according to the estimates. Former Brexit Secretary David Davis questioned the research, saying previous Treasury forecasts had been proved wrong and were based on flawed assumptions. Chancellor Philip Hammond said the planned Brexit deal combined most of the economic benefits of remaining in the EU with the political benefits of leaving the EU. Asked if the UK would be poorer under Mrs May's deal, he said, the economy will be slightly smaller in the Prime Minister's preferred version of the future partnership. But, Mr Peston also discussed the media's role in the 2016 vote, and took the chance to hit out at the BBC's coverage saying that it was not impartial. He argued that the BBC did not inform viewers who was the loony or the genius in Brexit debates during the referendum. He also accused the broadcaster of being confused about impartiality. He told the Cheltenham Literature Festival, the problem with the BBC, during the campaign, it put people on with diametrically opposed views and didn't give their viewers and listeners any help in assessing which one was the loony and which one was the genius. I do think that they went through a period of just not being confident enough. Impartial journalism is not giving equal airtime to two people one of whom says the world is flat and the other one says the world is round. That is not bad.